In a previous video in this playlist, I showed you how to connect to your Windows 11 computer using a remote desktop. Now I'm going to show you how to connect from your Windows 11 computer to another computer. So I'm going to click on the search box here at the bottom. And I'm going to type in remote desktop. And it shows the remote desktop app. I'm going to click on open, but first I'm going to click on pin to taskbar. So that way I can find it again more easily. I'll click open and I'll type in an IP address or a name, either one. And in my case, I'm going to type in DC1, which is the name of our domain controller. Click connect and type in the username and password. Now, if I wanted to remember me next time, I can do that. But the problem is it does cause a potential security risk by clicking that box because then you won't have to add in your information again. I can also go in and click on show options. So if I have multiple monitors, for instance, I can go to display and I can choose the use all my monitors for the remote session. So that way, if I have multiple monitors on this computer, not the remote computer, but this computer, then I can get it to show up on all my monitors at once. It doesn't matter how many monitors you have on the other side at the other computer. It only matters how many monitors you have on this side on the computer from which I'm connecting. Also take a look at the display configuration. Right now I have it set to large. You can go to small and typically you'll want it on the largest just so it maximizes the screen. And then you've got the choose the color depth. So if you're having any issues with speed, you can choose a lower uh, type of color depth and it will speed up things a little bit better. If I click on local resources, I can also choose to connect to my printers, my clipboard, or even my drives, my hard drives on my local computer if I want, or drives I plug in later. And I'm gonna click okay to that. Then if I go to experience, then this gives me another way of speeding things up in case things are running slow. So for instance, if I hit the drop down, depending on the speed that I have, I can go ahead and choose that and it will give me less colors, which will increase the speed. But detecting quality automatically usually is good enough. If I click on advanced, You've got some options for server authentication. By default, it says to warn you. Or I could just say, hey, don't, don't warn me or don't connect if it's not the, using that extra security. And then the connect from anywhere options. So if I click on settings, then I can choose the automatically detect RD gateway, use these RD gateway or do not use. Now this has to do with application uh, types of remote desktop. So if you've, you're remoting into a server, that's also a remote desktop server, then you can choose whether or not to connect using the remote gateway settings. Automatically usually works fine, but not always. Uh, so if you want to, if you're having issues, you can choose to not use the gateway and try to get around it if you can. So I'll click OK, click Connect, say don't ask me again, and now I'll put in the username and password. There's my username and password, I'll click OK, and I'll choose to accept the identity, click Yes, and I click the box to click out the other person on that computer in case they were logged in as well, and there I'm now logged into my domain controller. So that is how you use remote desktop in Windows 11.